Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be making the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. So as always, we're going to be doing the transfer glitch, which means you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, if you don't have a rebreather or an earpiece, just make your way over to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. Now with this outfit, you can do it with the regular green joggers, but I'm not going to lose the white joggers to get the green joggers, but I'm going to explain to you how to merge the outfit with the regular green joggers. But I'm guessing most of you are also going to be doing it with the fake, um, the fake green joggers like I am. So once you're ready to start the glitch, you just want to come over here to the clothing store. Make sure you set your spawn location to last location. And like I already said, put on the outfit that you don't want to lose because you are going to be losing all your outfits. You want to go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and go to swap character. Once you get loaded inside this room right here, you're going to go over to your second character and underneath your second character, it's going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters should walk in and you should see the edit option for your second character. Once you see the edit option for your second character, just go ahead and select it and when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert right here, just go ahead and accept it. Once your second character gets in this room right here, if it ended up being a male, make sure you change it into a female. If it ended up being a female, just go ahead and leave it as a female. Go ahead and save and continue, make a random name for it, and then take the picture. Once you take the picture, it's going to go ahead and load you inside of a new session. Once you get loaded inside your online session, you want to go ahead and hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you see the clothing stores in your session, make your way over to the nearest one. But if you don't see any clothing stores, just go to online and find a new session or just switch sessions. And the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So one more time, if you spawn inside your session and do see clothing stores, just go to the nearest one but if you don't see any clothing stores just switch sessions and the clothing stores are going to spawn inside that new session. So once you get inside the clothing store first you want to make your way over to the top section go to polo shirts and buy the navy liberty polo shirt so just come to the top section go to polo shirts and buy the navy liberty polo shirt so this one right here just go ahead and buy it once you got that you're gonna make your way over to the pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants which should be the first one so just come to the pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants once you got that you want to go ahead and make your way over to the shoe section 
go to the boots and buy the axe blood slack boots so just come over to the shoe section go to the boots and buy the axe blood slack boots So once you've got that, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. And if your female character has any earrings on, make sure you take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings. So if yours has earrings on, just make sure you take them off. Once you take off your earrings, make your way down to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves, which are going to be found in spot number 12. So just buy the light woodland tactical gloves. Once you've got that, just go ahead and come save your outfit. And when you save it, you want to make sure you saved it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was in slot 20. You will just save this inside of a different slot. So just go ahead and save it on an empty slot that's on your main character. So once you've saved it, you're going to go ahead and back out. You want to make your way over to the top section again go to fitted suit jackets and buy the white bow and blazer so just come over to the top section go to fitted suit jackets and buy this one right here the white bow and blazer once you've got that you're gonna go ahead and open up your interaction menu go to your inventory and you want to go to the body armor and put on the super heavy body armor so just go ahead and put on the super heavy body armor once you got that just go ahead and save the outfit right underneath of the first one that we just made so once you save the outfit you're gonna hit b or circle your back button you're gonna go to standard outfits and you're gonna go ahead and buy the chica outfit once you bought the chica outfit go ahead and completely back out you want to hit your pause button go to online and you just want to click on creator Once you get loaded inside a crater, just click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get loaded inside of here, click on race details. Go ahead and fill out the title and description. Doesn't have to be anything specific. I just put random stuff in for it. After that, go ahead and take the photo, put the maximum players on two and set the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, hit your pause button, open up your map and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just go ahead and hit B or circle your back button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place down the trigger, and then back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that and click on checkpoints. Now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as the race is 0.62 miles or longer. So once you've made the race 0.62 miles or longer, just hit your back button twice, so B or circle, just hit it twice. And it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you want to go ahead and test it out. Once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you get loaded in, just hit your pause button, go to online and click on choose character. Once you get loaded inside of here, you want to go over to your second character and you're going to delete it. So make sure you go over to your second character that got the Chica outfit on because you 
don't want to delete your maid by accident go over to your girl character and you're going to delete her once you delete your female character two new characters should walk in and from there you just want to hit b or circle so it takes you inside of single player Once you get loaded inside of single player, all you're gonna do is hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. Once you get loaded in online, the first thing you want to do is make sure you come save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So wherever you spawn at, make sure you save your outfit. Uh, Alright, so from here, if you have the actual green joggers, only thing you're going to need to buy is the same racing jersey I'm going to be buying. But if you're going to be using the fake um, green joggers, make sure you buy the pants i'm gonna be buying and the shoes i'm gonna be buying so if you have the actual green joggers then don't buy these pants right here but if you want to use the fake green joggers come to the cargo pants and buy the moss cargo pants once you've got that you want to go to the top section go to racing jerseys and buy the atomic motocross racing jersey now whether you have the real green joggers or not you still want to buy these so you get the um, racing gloves so this is this goes for both real green joggers and the fake green joggers by the atomic motocross racing jersey once you've got that the shoes that we're going to be buying now if you have the actual green joggers then don't buy it but if you're going to be using the fake green joggers like me come to the boots and buy the charcoal tactical boots so this is only for the people that are going to be using the fake green joggers so one last time, if you had the real green joggers, only thing you had to buy was the racing jersey, but if you wanted to use the fake green joggers, you had to buy the racing jersey, the pants, and the boots. So once you have that, you want to go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and you're going to start up crud cops. Once you start up crud cops and you're inside the mission settings, make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work so once you get inside the settings right here make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work once you put it on player owned you can either invite your friend or wait for a random to join once you get inside of here you're gonna go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad twice so the first time you're gonna get the jersey and the second time you're gonna get the body armor with the um, joggers and the green tron shoes from there just go ahead and ready up
So once you get loaded inside of Crypt Cops, you're gonna have your outfit on, whether you use the fake green joggers or the actual green joggers. From here, just hit um, open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you got that, you wanna open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So once you get loaded inside your online session, you should still have your outfit on. From here, go ahead and save the outfit. And once you save the outfit, you can go ahead and delete the component for it since you don't need them anymore. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like the outfit and were able to get it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share and subscribe if you already have it. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos.